come on into Jenny's walk and let's put this lovely sweet peas salad with shredded chicken breast with a lovely fresh salad to accompany it. Come on into Jenny's walk and let's put this marvelous dish together. Hi foodies, welcome to my kitchen. This is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. So foodies, I'm going to make a lovely, quick and easy uh, dinner time side dish, or this could even be a main dish for you. I'm going to make a lovely chicken with peas salad. Awesome, great for a potluck or just to have a nice dinner at home. So here I have some shredded chicken breasts. You know, you buy those rotisserie chicken or any leftover from the day before. Just shred it up really nice. Take the skin and bone out to some nice strips. And here you go, lovely. That is what I'm gonna be using. And here is my sweet peas. Um, frozen sweet peas, what I did, this is a one pound packet. I just open it up really nicely and put it in the microwave. Give it a nice cover. Don't flush it in the water. I do not want water into this. Put it in your mic microwave on high for two and a half minutes. And in halfway, one and one minute and, um, and a quarter. You open it up after the first minute, open it up, give it a little stir around and then finish off that timing in there. Get it perfectly defrost. Lovely in here. And here I have some cheese. I have this lovely yellow sharp. I love this one. If you want, you can grate it with a box grater or you can chip it up the size of your peas like this. So they all mix in really beautiful together. And in here... I have some valida onions and some red onions. The valida onions is very sweet. Mm, I love it. It is not the Spanish onion. It's a big difference. It's the valida sweet onion, which is lovely for um, salads and all of that. I'm going to be using some mayo. And let me get this together. So I will show to you everything that what we'll be adding. So first of all, let's add in the meat. You could add all the meat. Let's Looks good. I think I'm gonna need a bigger bowl already. And in goes the peas. So I'm gonna give this a nice little mix. And my dear foodies, let's not forget, I want to be using a little bit of oil, olive oil. So let me get some olive oil in. I'm gonna be using some nice organic olive oil there. So let's just eyeball like a tablespoon, a teaspoon and a half. Lovely, generous amount. You know, this is very healthy. So now let's get some, I'm gonna sprinkle in some white pepper at about one quarter teaspoonful of white pepper. This has a very lovely taste. I'm not putting black pepper in. I'm going ahead with some white pepper. To this, I like a little heat. So I'm gonna go with half a teaspoonful of pepper flakes. I love a nice uh, garlic. So I have ginger, I have garlic, grated granulated garlic, half a teaspoonful goes all. You know what? Let's go with another half a teaspoonful. Lovely, I love that. And I have some chives, dry chives. Same thing, one, two, which is one teaspoonful. And I'm gonna give it a little squeeze of fresh lime, lemon juice, just a little bit. If you have apple cider vinegar, you could go ahead also and put that in for a nice little tangy. There you go, that's about good. That looks lovely. And I like fresh dill. So here I have some fresh dill that I dry. I'm gonna add that in just like so. Now I'm gonna be using some whole grain mustard. Now, if you wish to use the plain mustard, I'm gonna go in with like eyeball one teaspoonful. If you wish to use the mustard, the yellow mustard, that's fine. You could go ahead using that too. It's fine. Now I'm going to be using some yogurt. I'm going to put in like two tablespoons full of yogurt. Or if you have sour cream, you can also use sour cream. That works really well too. But I like the yogurt. Make it a little more healthy. I think I'm going to go with three tablespoons full of that. Just like so. And now our mayo. Whatever mayo you have and you want to use, we're going to go ahead with a good three tablespoonful. Give it a good squeeze. And depends how creamy you want to do your chicken salad with peas, you put that amount. So now I'm going to just give this a good mix. 
to bring everything in together really lovely i want to add some salt also to this i'm going to be using some himalayan pink salt Wow, this smells lovely already. Really nice and refreshing. You know, you have a potluck on the job. This is a nice, quick and easy. You get home and you're tired and the kids are there. This is a lovely meal that you could make. If you want to drop some scallion, some green onions, you could do all of that too. So I'll be right back. Let me get some, let me get some salt for this. So my dear foodies, this is optional, but this is uh, celery stock. I dice two sleeves of that uh, fresh, nice, crunchy celery stock. So I'm using that. Now I'm going to be adding uh, half a teaspoonful of Himalayan pink salt. And now we're going to add our cheese. Now, if you are a cheese lover, you could go ahead and add more. I'm not too much of a cheese lover. And this is to be served cold. You can make it ahead of time and put it in your fridge before your guests arrive or for the kids, before they get home from school. Really nice. Simple and lovely dish here that you could enjoy with a nice, lovely Hawaiian dinner roll. Or you could make up some nice dinner rolls. And there you go. It's best eaten cold. Tastes a lot better. My lovely sweet peas and chicken salad doesn't that look divine get some light in there so you can see that my dear foodie lovely there you go and if you want to garnish it with anything else like tomato it'd be fine lovely quick and easy meal here from jenny's walk so don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and your family and um, don't forget to get into community and press that link and start inviting. So here I have a lovely garden tomato. I'm just going to give it a nice little cut and uh, just put them in just like so. And there you go. A nice lovely presentation here from Jenny's Walk. So thank you for joining me. From my kitchen to your kitchen, lovely chicken salad with sweet peas, lovely cheese, quick and easy, mix it up, some yogurt or sour cream, whatever you have, and still with some fresh tomato. And maybe if you have lettuce, that's a great idea there too. So thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.